Good morning. Good morning. I'm just going to change. It has been way too long since we've been here. Guess what? What? Oh, we're back from the most amazing event. I'm just going to... I hope our video looks good for the first time ever, you guys. We are doing our video on our phone. What? I know. Nothing like shaking things up at the very last second. But it's for a really good reason and you're going to love it. So hang on. Are people there? Can you hear us okay? We don't now. Of course, the plug-in for our microphone is for the iPad. So things are a little already like, ah, what's going on? But I'd love it if you could let us know how the sound quality is. I see your comments. Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon, or maybe it's good evening. I just said to Tracy, this might be the, the better quality video we've ever done. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Sound is okay, and you can see everything okay, because we look a little squished, but listen, we are we rolling. We look skinny this morning. We are <laughs> rolling with it. So you guys, we went from this orientation, being able to see ourselves on a little TV, to the vertical phone view. And for some reason, we can't really see your comments. I see them going by, but... They're like on top it's of like each other. It's like they're on top of each other. Like your name and your comment are layered on top. So I'm sorry. There's not much we can read and answer questions at the moment, but it's really nice to see you here. Much Thank better you. sound and quality. Much better. Mm. Really? Okay, so maybe almost eight years in, we have almost figured it out. Here's the thing also. Um, we're super excited, you guys. You're in for a treat. There's it's a, a big day. Tin Can Knits, Emily of Tin Can Knits, and we'll explain to you why they're both not here when we before we start. But the reason why we're on the phone and it's a different orientation because Emily of Tin Can Knits is joining joining in just a little bit to talk everything app. But that means we had to be on our phone because the iPad didn't have this, this special go live together. There's a feature on YouTube where you can have someone join you when you're live streaming. We did not know about that. So we thought that sounded fantastic. Um, and we thought this would be a great way to give it a test run. Plus, we love the Tin Can Knits app so much and know that you're going to too. And so it's really going to be fun to have the conversation from the creators of the app. Do we look younger in HD? I feel like you guys can see my pores, and that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> Just so say funny. yes. Um, you guys, it's been a while. I feel out of practice. We were we we missed you last week. We did miss you, but we were away having fun. We missed you a week ago Thursday. We were riding a ferry off of Vancouver, heading to Pender Island for the Knit Social Retreat. And the teachers that came were Hohi Locatelli and Olga Jazzy and so many knitters from so many places. Uh, I say we miss you, but of course we always miss you. But the time was amazing and it was such miss. a great. I was excited. Great time away. And if you ever get the chance to go um, to a Knit Social Retreat or anything out that way, I mean, I couldn't recommend it more highly. Amanda and Fiona, they've been doing this for years. They were doing it years before we ever went to our first Galliano Island yeah. retreat. And let me tell you, let me say this. Amanda and Fiona are 10 out of 10 the best retreat hosts. I totally agree. They're gracious. They're humble. They're kind. They're warm and inviting. Yeah. And there is no such thing as no. I mean, Jody had a lot of diva requests. They said yes to everything. God, do you mind this shit talk behind? <laughs> no. Behind closed doors. Uh, no, the truth is they are just the warmest, most lovely humans. And we are just thrilled anytime we get to spend time with them. But honestly, the retreats are, you know, they're a big deal to take time away from your life. And maybe you're going to travel and, you know, invest in some time away for yourself. Um, it's all a big deal, and they are just so worth all of that. Mm -hmm. I just feel like they plan things so well. Plus, people, we had the best classes, and we got to visit two sheep farms. Not one, which was awesome. Yeah. But two. Um, the audio sounds a bit weird. Lots of people saying the audio's weird. Really? Okay, so I don't know what's going on, guys. Thanks, Jord. 
Um, yeah, we can't read a single comment. It's so bizarre. Sounds like you both have big lists. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, okay, maybe we're going to have to sign off. If it's not working and the sound's not good, we can't continue. But we will figure this out quickly. Okay? Should we just... <sighs> we can't continue with this if the sound's not good. No, we can't. I mean, that's frustrating. Sorry, everybody. But we're not going anywhere. It's not like we're going to go like have lunch or something. We're We're going to figure it out. Okay. I can't read a single comment. It's so weird. No, because actually, so what's happening right now is it's thinking we're waiting for the guest. And we are waiting for the guest, but we thought we could. Amanda said the sound is fine. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to go on my own phone, you guys. Um, okay. Let's Adela see. said sound is fine. Don't start over, Adela said. Okay. Okay, we're not. Amanda said it's totally fine. Okay. I'm sorry if, if you can't, you know, changing things up. At <laughs> Here's the thing also, you we guys. We totally don't know what's going. This is a new feature for us. And Audio we, is better than our iPod. We wanted to be, it isn't bad, just different. Somebody said, have people change their YouTube settings to HD. And that will make everything better. Sound is fine. Sound is terrific. Okay. So if, if you're having issues with sound, go into your settings in iTunes. You're going to have to leave the video. Just a sec. I'm going to listen to myself. The sound is fine. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go on my own phone, you guys. Cuts out a bit. Um, okay. Try, Adela, try that. Sound is fine. Don't start over, Adela said. Okay. Okay, we're not. Amanda said it's totally fine. It sounds okay. good on my phone. I sound like I have a total lisp, but that's no, okay. I'm okay. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I don't care. Maybe you I do. Know, changing things up. Like, here's oh, the yeah. thing also, you guys. Totally Change know. your settings to HD. I don't this even know where that is. I mean, I could. I would. I will. But I don't even know where that is. Go out of the video. And go like to the in home. settings? No. In your YouTube. At the homepage of your YouTube. In your app. Wow, this could not be my okay. So, so go out of this video. Okay, and you want to go into your yep, home. go into Tracy, go into me, go into the setting dial. Oh my goodness, video, video quality, video quality. Um, I don't know, video quality preferences. I don't know, you guys. Yeah. We can't have it be crappy. No, we can't have it be crappy. That's going to be really frustrating. Go into live chat down there. We don't want to hold for review. Go back. Are you in Grocery Girls? No. Oh, good. Okay. Hold inappropriate men messages. Yeah. Um. Here's the thing. We hmm. were, This feature wasn't available on just our own, like, non-video YouTube, like Jody Brown's YouTube sign-in. But we, so we weren't able to test it out. Hmm. Wah, wah. I don't know what to say. We're wait. It's, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's because it's in like a ling, it's in limbo. It's waiting for our guests to join, but we have Emily scheduled to join in half an hour. Um, I wonder, I'm going to text Emily. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, this is such a bummer. Sorry about that. Um, so bad. Are you able to join earlier? Um, honestly, it's totally fine. Okay. Sounds so much better changing it to Jordan. We changed nothing, but thank you for that. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Okay. Let's just go with it. Okay. And you know what we could do? We could call this part one. And then when Emily is finished with our chit chat, once we hang up, if that doesn't change, sure, we could do part two. Let's just okay. continue. <gasps> okay, guys. Okay. Cause we really so far, 10 out of 10 excitement level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is so funny. Um, okay. We're just going to continue. So, um, retreat was amazing. Retreat was amazing. Knitters were amazing. Uh, classes. I had never taken a class. Oh, that's not true. I took a class from Olga over Zoom during COVID, and it was amazing. But it's just, 
you know, in person is so different. And she had all her beautiful samples and we got to learn so much. And we did this 3D knitting um, with her. And let me tell you, I thought it was going to be super hard and complicated. And she just boils it down to these simple steps. Didn't you think it was just mm-hmm. so simple, that pattern? Mm-hmm. It was an eye opener. I love taking classes. I love need- meeting new people. Um, and then we learned how to design our own sweater with Hoagie. The classes were great. We highly, highly yeah. recommend um, classes whenever you can, wherever and whenever that and everything allows. Mm-hmm. But these were amazing. These were amazing, both of them. You guys, you know what we did prior to this retreat is we met a few days ahead in Vancouver. We drove down to Bellingham. And toured the Spin Cycle Mill. <gasps> what? That was this, not just the Spin Cycle store, the Spin Cycle Mill. Yeah. So I've got to put this on Do Not Disturb. But um, Ho He, um, um, Ho He had arranged ahead of time to uh, go to the mill because it's not open for mill tours on the regular. But they were right. so gracious yeah. and allowed us to come. There was one, two, three, four, five of five us. Five of us, yeah. And the the staff. Carson's the, on here. The staff that were there walked us through from dying to skein, and it was amazing. And it was it was very cool to see behind the scenes. I love seeing anything behind the scenes, but this was like, you're right. It was giant ropes of wool roving and you saw the dyeing station and the drying station and where they're, you know, combing fiber and what do they do? Then they, there was spin, you know, there was the spinning, the plying. And one thing I always wondered with spin cycle with their skeins, there's never a weight on them. And I always thought, well, what is, you know, that's odd. All the other skeins seem to come with a weight. Well, those are like commercial yarn bases, a weight. They literally have these cones for their plied yarns and it's being wound to the yard to the meter. So sometimes a weight of a, an item can be inaccurate, right? It's heavier in a more humid environment and then lighter. And sometimes you can be, you know, short a meter or whatever. Anyway, I just felt like it was so brilliant and so accurate. And I always had that question. I that was, was a really good question. I always wondered why. And they were like, oh yeah, well, you know, this is how we do it. And it really was just, um, just beautiful, like an amazing treat. I just still kind of pinch ourselves because we got to see the ladies packing orders and behind the scenes, new color releases that are coming. You guys will not believe unless you saw it yourself or are more familiar with uh, the process that mm-hmm. they use, how many hands yes. this touches and how long the process is. So before it goes from during the time it's dyed to the time it's a skein in your hands. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. I was shocked. I hadn't thought about it and didn't understand the full process, but the amount of people that touch your yarn yeah. is huge. And when I think about the scope of something like Spin Cycle, where pretty much most yarn store, like it's just all over the world in so many shops. And you know, it's this little mill that pumps out every single skein. It was beyond impressive um, and incredibly generous for them to host us. So, you know, thank you to Hohi for arranging it. And thank you to Anna for, you know, leading us around and answering all of our ridiculous questions because, you know, we're total newbies to all of it. There were no, There's no dumb questions. That's what they said. Uh, but it really was a great team. And everybody was just so happy and it was phenomenal. Phenomenal. And then, of course, we went shopping at the shop, which was a whole other, like, fabulous time. That's so funny. Yeah. It was great. Um, that was a highlight. Oh, if anyone's ever in the area, and if if you are, you, you probably are familiar with the Italian restaurant across the street from the Spin Cycle oh, yes. brick and mortar shop. That meal was memorable. It was so good. Can you tell we don't travel a lot, but let me tell you, those are the things that make an impression. We had this incredible meal. Everything was 
from scratch, homemade, Mediterranean, and then just the amazing company of the ladies we were with. So We um, had our friend Carson join us from Whitby Island yeah. overnight for a couple of days, and we have a new friend, Yael, yes. who we met uh, through Hohi, and now we call our friend. Yeah, absolutely. So it's It was great. just beyond... Beyond wonderful. So, you know, maybe if they have some kind of an open mill day and you're local at some point, um, absolutely make the time to go if you're a fan or even if you just want to see how they make their yarn. It is so cool. Right? It's so, sorry. I'm just looking. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm just dreaming back of, of that time away. Okay. And when people tell you, the hangover after an event or retreat is real. I'm still recovering. <laughs> I know. Well, because you have to, here's the thing, you know, you're so busy the week before you go to be able to leave for a week. And then you come back after six days of super fun, but very actively busy days from morning till late. Like up at seven every morning. And then you get home and it's got to be, you know, feet to the ground. Let's catch up and whatever. So that's the week this week. Very glad grateful grateful beyond belief for the time um but i'm still gonna pl- complain how really special about it really really special time so back to real life yeah and we just finished our breast cancer fundraiser is there no one chatting in the live chat right now the live chat yeah i could no no let's not do it let's not freak her out god alexa or emily's gonna think we're like crazy people Definitely not organized. No, we've never done this thing before, and now we're kind of learning on the fly. And just wait, wait, wait. We thought there was glitches. There may be, but nine fifteen. Let's stick to that. <laughs> Can you do this? Sure. Yeah, forget it. People chatting. Okay, we just don't see them. Okay, so, um, so that was our week. That's why we didn't see you last week. Um. So many fun things happened, you guys. Our breast cancer kit went on sale. I can't wait for Tracy to give you all the lowdown details because it's finished now. And we have a giant number we get to tell you. that It is. There was a giant team effort from, you know, Thread and Maple, Sam and Olga, to Karina of Louie and Lola. And we were part of that team. And everybody that donated a prize, which was so generous... Everybody that shared the fundraiser, everybody that donated uh, in hopes of, you know, making the tally huge or winning a prize. The grand total for the whole Knit for the Girls fundraiser is over 68000 Canadian dollars with the whole team. Which is, if somebody had said guess at the beginning, guess, I would never have guessed. It is, you know, our goal was blown absolutely out of the water. The reception was so... Guys, warm and welcoming. We smash it. It's a big deal. You know, through the whole week, as you're, you know, listening to comments and emailing people saying, hey, you won. And they email you back and say, oh, my gosh, you know, three women in my family have battled breast cancer or I've lost someone to breast or it's me right now. I'm going through it. It is, you know, it comes right to your door. The the reality of, of this and so many other horrible cancers. Um, so just thank you. I just, I guess I just can't say thank you enough to everybody that was so generous with your time and your funds and your business and, you know, just giving us amazing things. I, I truly think it was just beyond anyone's expectation. I am so proud at the response. Yeah. And what we were able to do in such a short period of time. I say we very loosely. I Yes, I'm, gro- gro- you know, roped into the Grocery Girl duo. Yes, you are. But the giant, the lion's share of the work was certainly between the three other women in this group. But I, I'll, proud, I, I, I'll proudly take accolades because I've jumped into it. But no. I can't even... Tell it you. is a team. Jody, Jody yeah, yeah. tips every single thing. Jody but is being the amount of work that the women do behind the scenes. You can't even imagine um, to make this a successful fundraiser. And I'm so it's, proud that we were able. I, to... I'm so proud to be part of it, and I'm so honored to be part of it. And I really, you know, I have hope that this is something that we won't have to fundraise for one day. But it's awful hearing 
the current stories. And I just see someone right now that says they're going through getting chemo at the moment and we are sending love to you and strength and everything that you could possibly need from, from us because we do, we are thinking of you. So putting it out there, it's yes. hard. It's really hard. I can't imagine, yes. you know, um, anyway, this it is, is a big deal. We're thrilled yes. to be part of it. Amazed at the result. Um, this is why we continue to do things like we do. We always um, pride ourselves on, um, I mean, we've got our, we wear our hearts on our sleeves. Yeah. So when we see and hear the stories that we do over the last few years of, of being involved in this cancer, um, it's amazing. It is. It is eye opening. For sure. And you're right when you say we, we wear our hair hard on our We sleeves. do, because these yeah. stories, everybody, everybody's story is so yeah. um, touching and moving. And that's the, that's where I, that's what I walk away from these retreats yeah. when we're meeting all these new, it was all women at the retreat, but it's the, the human connection and hearing people's story is what... One of the takeaways that are, are very, very high on my list. Absolutely. I love it. It's totally, my, meeting people is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk more about the people that we met as things go on. But I did want to say that we met Nada from Knit Leaks. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all knitters should be following Knit Leaks. Yeah. Nada's job is to, you know, she's created this business where she goes and travels the world and reports back to us. From knitting events, whether it's retreats or festivals or local yarn shop openings. And I think, you know, of course we can't travel everywhere. Wouldn't that be amazing if we could? But she's going to bring that to everybody. And I think if we all follow Knit Leaks, we will enjoy her travel. She's wonderful. She is so wonderful. Let me, let me say a few things. I feel like I almost, when I meet new people and, I, and I, I'm getting to, I almost feel like I'm grilling them. I would agree. <laughs> really okay, chatting with them. But, but what about this? But what about I that? I thought she was. I she was. So, she's so interesting, you guys. She is a tax lawyer that decided she didn't love her job. She wanted to. I guess just making a change. Make a change and curate. What can I do with my life that I'm passionate about, yeah. that I love, and I can make this into a career? Yeah. She just started knitting in COVID. I know it's phenomenal. And this woman. I just found it so I just feel like everybody should follow follow her and learn about her and see where her journeys are. She's been in Shetland and like you just have to see. She, was she wearing... doesn't have a home base. No, she doesn't have a, a home she goes home to. She has people in Brazil. Yeah. She's got places to stay. But I see what you mean, right? Like she's on the road and that's her job and she loves it. She loves it. I feel like I would get tired of all the travel hitting every single event. She said she loves it. So if you go to an event, you'll see her. You'll see her at Vogue Knitting Live in New York. You'll see her at Barcelona Knits. Um, she does amazing content. Yes. Amazing content. She's profesh. Actually, it's funny. Dinner ended and I just said, we're not over there. I'm not done yet. To be continued. Right. I have more questions. Right. But it's like quick fire. It's I'm so interested Emily, get ready. <laughs> right. Poor Emily. She'd be like, I obviously, all of a sudden I just can't make it. Um, no, I, I can't wait. I mean, good. I, we are both super inquisitive people. We want to know it all. And then it's hard for people to say, um, done. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Mm -hmm. No. So that's how you learn fun things about people. Just by asking. It was really wonderful. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, it was super fun. It was, it filled up. My love cup. Yes. My knitter. Yes. Being together. Community. I love it so much, I you know. guys. Okay. Speaking of community, yeah. we have something to share that is a very um, big deal. A little while ago, here in Alberta, Prairie Spirit Alpacas had a fire in their barn. And... It is uh, Jenny Shipley is Prairie Spirit Alpacas, and she has many, like 80 animals or something, and mm -hmm. she, I think she's basically, the business is all her. 
I, I gathered that too, but I can't confirm. So she, at the, this point, you know, she had sheared her alpacas. She had purchased hay for the winter, you know, all of her money throughout the year, you know, that goes towards things like that. And she had her fleeces, she, you know, yet to be processed into whatever yarn or whatever. And they had a horrible fire and she lost all of that hay, all of those fleeces. She lost some beloved animals. Several uh, animals are burnt and in need, are, are in veterinarian care. And she's in Alberta, you guys. This is, we have snow on the ground. These alpacas are not okay just out in the pasture all the time. It's going to get really cold here. And unfortunately, I heard that insurance, of course, is not going to pay for everything. Yeah. So they are running a GoFundMe and they do have a fundraiser event coming up. Um, the GoFundMe is Prairie Spirit Alpacas Barn. And if you are interested in learning more about Jenny's situation, it is heart-wrenching. Um, I think it's so difficult to be any kind of farmer, whether livestock or whatever it happens to be. And then something like this happens, mm -hmm. you know, that you're absolutely unprepared for. Mm -hmm. So it's just a horrible situation. Um, if you're able to donate, that would be incredible. You know, that good old $5 Starbucks donation. Oh, we all did that. It would be incredible. And there is a fundraiser happening November 14th in Calgary. It's like a oh. silent auction dinner and stuff like that. So we will do our best to add that link to our show notes. Uh, our friend BJ is amazing and takes care of all those links, but I will add some as well later. So I just wanted to give that a moment because, you know, it's devastating I and it's agree. horrible luck. It is just a terrible thing that happened. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. I'm so wrong. Yeah. Jenny's the fundraiser. Carmen is the alpaca oh, fundraiser. Oh, that's so it's backwards here. I got it backwards. Carmen is the alpaca farmer. So let's help Carmen if we are able to. So sad. She lost mm -hmm. her dog that helped with the alpacas. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I really just wanted to say it's um I do love being able to use our you know, our channel, we do love this. We love to use our channel to shout things out that are important and, you know, may not otherwise get reach. So that's something that I, I really wanted to share today. Thank you for that. Anyway, it would have been great if I could get the name straight, but <laughs> I had it backwards in my notes. Did you guys just see a text come on the screen or was that only on my phone? It doesn't appear on the video. I wasn't paying attention because if that happens again, I'm not going to fuss because it makes the video kind of like glitch for a split second. Oh, does it? Yeah. So, um, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Good morning, Catherine. Um, good morning. Oh, it only for you, not on the video. Perfect. So I'm not going to fuss with it when a text comes through. Jody I have gets all her naughty texts. We're I am not going to see them. I do not disturb on, but yeah, I don't know why they're coming out. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, anyway, it was great. I thought that was wonderful. Thank you about the breast cancer. Um, oh, we could share our kit. I was trying to it? say, let's keep going with the breast cancer yeah. because we're really super proud of this kit. And Alexa's going to join in about 15 minutes. This so is perfect because we're going to continue. The, the end of um, the end of our fundraiser week was the launch of sort of the final fundraising item and it was it's a, called a knit for the girls bundle and it included dk weight yarn from karina of louis and lola this year she died on the base that's 60 percent superwash merino 20 percent silk and 20 percent yak i believe <sighs> it's the dreamiest i have never knit with this base it is such a pleasure and so gorgeous so we do love the yak for its sheer color. Yeah. And the silk and the, yeah, like it just shines and glows and whatever. Oh, what a good picture that is. It is a good picture on my phone. Whatever you're going to make is going to be stunning. Uh, the other element in here, we've got actually a whole bunch of really cute things in this kit. You guys are going to love it. Thread and Maple made a special edition. It's called a project page. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. But I feel like Thread and Maple creates items we didn't even know we needed until they put them in front of us. So this is a 
leather made. They make all of their um, pieces by hand in Ukraine. They've got workshops over in Ukraine. They're amazing. Everything is so beautifully made. But a project page is the perfect little thing. And I thought it would be great just for travel. But you know what? I was thinking, as I knit my sweater, I start on one size cord and one size needle, and then I'm moving down and I need different cords and different needle tips and all my notions. And this little project page will hold more than I need. I've got cords and needle tips. Of course, you could put crochet hooks or DPNs. Um, you can hold beautiful, like your circular needles. I've got my all my notions in here. I've got scissors and my barber cords. And Amber, put a tape measure back here stitch too. Stitch markers. And of course it zips shut. So none of this stuff is going to fall out. It's got a little pouch slip pocket. You can put a notebook, but I've got my pattern. Everything's in there. Okay. So when I first saw these, they do snap into the, never mind. I originally thought this was something that was marketed and best for travel only. But like you said, yeah, totally. I have discovered this is what I put together and put in my bag. This is it. For a project. It's so perfect. And I really never thought of it this way. And it's also just beyond portable, right? You just snap these little guys and absolutely no, there's no way anything can fall out because it's all flat I and have zippers. The Vignetta leather. Yeah. Am I saying it right? I don't know. Because they do make this in other colors of leather. And it is something that can clip into the binders if you happen to have the binders. But it's also something that is standalone. I don't have the binder, but I do have a couple of these. And they are so useful. So the thing about this bundle is the only um, way, they only do a pink breast cancer version of this project page in the bun in the knit for the girls you bundle. can't find it anywhere else no so that's that's that and limited edition it is okay very. you guys it's so good a light bulb went off not too long ago when i used mine that i got from um sonder yarn they had a special one yeah i thought i i hadn't used it because i hadn't traveled and then i thought i'm just gonna use it no. all the time it's and I so do true use it, all the time. it is so true um i completely <gasps> agree once it's i loaded so up everything good. for like my sweater, I needed two sets of needle tips and three or four cords and my barber cords to put things on hold and it would all fit. So and everything's it had a little, right there. Everything's right there. Okay. And then my pattern just slipped in. Yes. Like it couldn't have been I better. Swear. Genius. Come on. These guys are genius. So that is part of the kit. We also have Shelly Can, the amazing Shelly Can, did a Knit for the Girls logo this year and created an enamel pin of that logo. You're not ready for this. You're not. It was so good when I saw it. I was like, well, of Did course. Did we store it already? I don't think so. It's been on our Instagram, but we have not really like. So yarn ball boobies, of course, for knit for the girls. How cute are they? Because these are girls. Right. Those are the girls we're talking about right now. Um, it's so good. It's so good. I couldn't agree more. Um, and every one of the raffle prizes that are going out to our lucky winners it has one of these pins included. So I hope you guys love them. I know you will. Um, the patterns included, uh, I designed them again this year. I'm so lucky and I hope you love them. Um, this is the Kinship Hat and Cowl. And it's just really simple texture, but it fits like a dream. I'm the worst at promoting my own things, but I have to say this is the ribbing. It feels so good on. There's so much one by one ribbing in amongst um, the hat running up the pattern. Yeah. That it conforms it's, to your head. You could knit this for so many people. There is three separate sizes in the pattern, but it's going to fit so many different heads. Um, and it's got a really simple little eyelet texture with some ribbing. And I just think, and with the striping of the yarns, I just thought it was really cute. Um, I love it. I can't wait to start wearing mine. And our wonderful friend Janet of Yarn Bowler created the pom-pom in the kit. It's rose gold, which is like number one seller. I would say. Yeah. It's pretty. It's right up there. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. It's that pink that's kind of for all people that think they don't love pink, but it's kind of a dirty pink. It's kind of a mauvey brownie yeah. pink. It's, 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 yeah, it's so good. Um, and then we had our friend Diane of Brick Bubble 
we asked her to create a little tag with a rivet for both knit items. So every bundle comes with two of these metallic rose gold. It's a cork tag and it's got the breast cancer logo, um, but it's got a gold metallic in the cork. And, and the little breast cancer logo is knit uh, stockinette stitches. Yeah. <gasps> it's a knitted so breast cancer. Yeah. So you do get a PDF of both of these patterns and all the yarn and the project page and the things. And we just thought... We just love putting this kit together. I'm so proud of this kit. I think it's so beautiful. Yeah. And the best part, all this is great, but at $35 from every bundle is going also to breast cancer. So it's still a fundraiser. Um, and of course, that's really important to us. So we hope you love it. They're in the shop now. I guess we should say that. Oh yeah, they're in the shop. And there's a very, we're over half sold, well over half sold. Yeah. We won't be doing a pre-order this year. We, we. We took an account the pre-order last year and we've added a certain percentage and that's the stock we have. We didn't want you to have to wait because mm -hmm. we know lots of people buy this as a gift or maybe you want to buy it and knit things as a gift. So we wanted everything to be ready to ship and that's exactly what it is this year. So yarn came from Tasmania and the leather came from Ukraine and, yeah. then, and then it's very Downies. international. Um, and we just feel so lucky to be part of it. So thank you for your amazing support. And we hope everybody that wants a bundle gets one. Um, and of course, they're still on sale everywhere. Like they're in everybody's shop. Thank you. Yeah. I love that so much. I just want to say a quick thank you to, obviously, BJ. You already shouted her mm -hmm. out. She is our show fairy. Honestly, the amount of work she saves behind the scenes is incredible. I keep saying, you know you're not Pinch me. honored. But I love you. I love you. Um, I want to thank Star. So much. Joins us every single week and is in the chat. And I see our good friend, Adela of Lola Bean Yarns, is oh. also here, who is also a moderator. We love you. You guys, that's so nice. We would do anything for our crew. We absolutely um, would. Maybe yeah. they didn't think we're such a hot mess. We couldn't do this ourselves. I'm not, not that they're wrong. No, they're you guys, totally it's right. just so beyond appreciated. We love you all. Um, I'm excited about Adela. Adela's flashing some pretty awesome of always yarn on her page, but it's like, what's it for? Like, I love the whole like hmm. sneaky eyeball thing. Like what's going on? I can't wait to see. Um, oh, it's like, I didn't, I, I, a lot of times can resist yarn and I can appreciate from afar because we're always, I love um, it all. Yeah. I, I always it. want, but then I see her duos, Adela's duos that she's been flashing this week. And I think to myself, just one more, just, <laughs> of course, one, just more one more sweater quantity. Of course. Yeah. Listen, I'm all over it. Yeah, totally. Um, okay. So quickly before we're just going to chit chat until we, we see Emily join our live. Um, sacred sheep. Ah, FOMO. Just, Listen, I was on I feel, media last night. I feel caught up to the point that I would go. If there was a good flight, Jody, I would be like, throw a few things in a bag and I go. I, I would, would, I would go tomorrow. Okay. There's through Seattle. We have an app. I know. Like, yeah, it's the same flight that was available. Oh my god! I mean, we have nowhere to stay, but we could totally find a hotel room. Oh, it's and it's Uber Portland. and Uber everywhere. We don't need a car. No, but we could get a car. We can get everything last minute. I feel like we're gonna have a grocery girls meeting after this podcast. <laughs> Am I packing a bag? Yeah, just a little one. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, dreaming. Yeah. But here's the thing: there's so many of you going. It looks incredible. It's a first time show. I mean, I just want it to come out with a bang. Obviously, I mean, Rachel of Ritual Dyes has organized this whole thing. And the vendors that are going, um, the community that's going to show up. Portland has been a yarny bucket list for us for a long time. They have tons of beautiful yarn shops. We haven't been to Portland, have we? No. no. But when we were out in Vancouver, Washington at uh, one time, we were like, oh, we should, we should come back. And we still have oh. it. So we're going to. If we don't. Go this weekend. I have a feeling we won't. Actually, I have a. Anyway, I got something on Sunday, but whatever. We can make things work. Can you skip it? Yeah, yeah. No. I can have Jeff go. I can't imagine. I don't know. Anyway. Gary! Gary's here. Gary!
Oh, SoCal Fiber Fair is three weeks away. <gasps> Gary, can Southern we stay with California. you and your husband? Is that where he's from? He's in California, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know where. Okay. Yeah. I'm so excited. Anyway, have a great time. All the vendors no, I can't are going to have a great a show. But it's, you guys, that doesn't usually happen. And here's why I was super excited. A, just watching Sacred Sheep and Ritual Dies and all their, you know, lead up social media posts. Yeah. Incredible. But we had the most amazing time at Flock Fiber mm -hmm. and that kind of curated kind of size down event from let's say a, a Rhinebeck which no or no like shade. Knitting Live or Just something the, like the, that the, the sheer scale down we've always said was, the smaller events are our favorite yeah. and I feel like I I wish and where I my hope is that they never get too big where you think oh that was just too big selfishly I loved you know it didn't have to say that but not I but not giant. Can they do that, please? Not get giant. Okay, bossy. But big enough. I don't know. Um, you know, they felt amazing. Yeah. That flock is, I'm excited already for next year. I've seen flashes on Instagram of their new location. It looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait. And I mean, we've always loved less crowds. It's It's a real toss up because the bigger the event, we get to see things like sheep and you know, when we go to Rhinebeck, we love so much about it. It's just the crowds that are like, maybe not our favorite thing. I agree. But it doesn't mean we're not going to come Do back. we have questions prepared? We're totally coming back. You guys, I did homework for the app. Um, I've used it a lot, so I did not I know prepare you, anything. I was not familiar, so I wanted okay, to do that. It is, it is time, everybody. I'm so thrilled that we are going to be doing this and welcoming a special guest. We've been huge fans for many years of Tin Can Nets. I have a stack of all their printed books. We've knit many of their items over and over. Uh, so it's going to be, and yet I've never really chatted with Emily, not even once. It's been so nice seeing Alexa anytime, mm -hmm. but we have never really chatted with Emily. And so they've gone down this road and now there is a Tin Can Knits app, which I think all knitters are going to need. And I was one of their small group of, I think they call them beta testers or something before the app came out. And, um, I, and then I was saying to Jody, you were, this is unbelievable. You know, just like we're blown away by Tin Can Knits patterns being so, the size range being so amazing from a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, this app is also kind of incredibly um, you, it really, you can zero in on exactly just what you want, right? But it can be for everybody. You're going to see, you're going to see. So, so many patterns are like three different yarn weights and 10 different sizes. And it's just fantastic. Are we good? I don't see her yet, but let's just, oh, you guys. There she is. Deny. We can hit deny or accept. Just a minute. I hope this worked. Did I push you guys, it properly? Guys, fingers are crossed. <gasps> Good Hello. Hello. How are you? Can oh, you hear me? Right. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Can you see me? Okay, perfect. Yeah, we can. I can see you guys. Okay, good. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Oh, I was, I was okay. Just, good. I was just saying how we've never met, and yet, no. you know, Tin Can Knits has been such a big part of our knitting life forever and we just love all the things you do and so it's a real treat to say hi in person today oh thanks so much for having me it's lovely to meet you ladies too okay it's funny how this is the first time right yeah we've talked on the phone yeah but... yeah. yeah yeah um so we're really excited to talk everything tin can knits app i want to just um kind of Put it into your court. I would like just how did what talk to us about inception and where you guys um started with your app. Well, I guess um if you know our work at all, then you'll know that we've been working for years at adding more value to patterns. Can you hear me? I've got a big echo. Yep. Yes, yeah. I can hear you. Totally fine. Is there there's not an echo? I don't hear no. an echo. 
Okay, perfect. You know what? Um, We're finding there's some weird techie glitches with this, but we've never done this co-streaming thing before. So I apologize, but it's like- We'll figure it out. We'll for figuring it out. But hopefully, I mean, on what I'm seeing and listening to, I can hear you perfectly. Okay. I think it might have to do with my laptop. So okay. I'm just going to close my laptop. I'll just be a second. Okay, okay perfect. Um, so that's what I was talking about with the fact that they've always been this baby to big size range. And I just kind of thought to myself, you know, there's lots of people that will do a sweater in adult sizes and then a new pattern that is younger sizes. And you guys have just always done this amazing size range and inclusivity. So I love it. I love that you already gave us so much value. Well, um, I have to say, like, there's a story behind that. Um, I thought this baby to big size range was crazy um, because I didn't have any kids when Alexa and I got started designing together. Um, oh. oh, it says if I have headphones to wear, they may not hear the echo. So I don't hear one an more echo. Thing. I don't hear an echo. It's but a bit echoey. For maybe it's for you. Everybody, listen. I can still hear you. Can you hear us? My headphones. Is it better? Does the audio sound better, listeners? Um, oh, if Jody and Shay can't hear the echo, it's coming out of their mic. Is something that I just saw come up from the. Feed. Oh, okay. Well, it's just our phone. <laughs> The echo is bad. We don't have a mic. We don't have a mic, actually. It's just the phone. Do you have... Um... Oh, the echo's gone. You, you changed something. Something changed. Do I? Yeah, maybe it hasn't. Maybe oh. closing our YouTube. I closed <laughs> YouTube on my phone. Is that better? Uh, okay, I think we got rid of oh, it. Oh, good. Oh, good. No, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we did not. Shoot. God, there's too many devices. Do you only have... Do you have one app open? Um... M? I tried to open it on my computer. And okay. It let no, me. this streaming thing I think is only on mobile device. I think so. Yeah. And so then I stopped. Are people still hearing the echo? Our chat is really funny. Oh, okay. No. Uh, maybe. Okay. okay. I'm gonna yeah, please that. do. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully the audio is not too bad for people. Um, so the story is, I didn't have any kids and I was designing with Alexa. And then she's like, oh, we should size our patterns from baby to big. Um, and I thought, well, who wants to knit for children? <laughs> <laughs> but um, apparently people did. And then a couple years later, once I had my first um, I obviously was about the baby to big size I think it's brilliant. range. Um, so we tried to keep on ramming more and more value into our patterns. Um, and then we made Strange Brew. Um, and Strange, Strange Brew, if with it at all, is a... Um, a sweater recipe on color work yoke, like the one I'm wearing. And so we decided to include three different yarn weights um, and, uh, and the option to knit from the bottom up or the top down, all within this recipe that allowed people to really easily knit themselves uh, color work. Sweater. I don't want to interrupt, but I hear and so, the echo super bad that people are having a hard time hearing us. So I would hate for you to keep going. Yeah. Do you want me to try try pressing the link again? If it changes, let's do that. Let's do that, M. Yeah. Um, one of the suggestions that popped up in the chat was that you guys mute yourself when you're not talk talking. Mute. Our um, because they, yeah, they were thinking that um, it was due to your your sound, but you've had no problems with this in the past. So I'm going to try calling back in again. Okay. Oh, darn. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I don't, although we're at headphones. Okay. 
Oh, the wonders of tech. Technology is the worst. Technology. Um, okay, the guest left. What? Sorry, Our guest took off. You're back. Did you I'm leave? Back. You're back. Um, I wonder. Tracy's going to go get her. her I left. Too. I left. I can still hear a little. Seems Does a little it? bit echoey. Tracy's going to get her head um, and we'll see if yeah, that. I'm not sure if it's my, my tech or your tech so or YouTube. The tech. other, uh, I just, we got really excited when we saw this feature and then wanted to host you on this morning. Absolutely. I did a little research and sound didn't come up. I thought it was going to be a lot smoother. I thought it was going to be maybe more like. We used to Zoom and stream it through YouTube Live, and that was easy peasy. We didn't have any issues, and probably just your... I don't know if they're going to connect. Well, I don't have any of that. What? We, we were not going to be able to connect that, because the jack's on the bottom. Okay. Well, I have options. Sorry. I mean, this... Okay, let's do this. Right. You'll be the last. Assuming <laughs> that here's your right away. You're going to connect. It, hmm? Okay. Let's. Okay. This is. How are we now? I'm just going to go to Bluetooth. It's, um, what's it called? Monster or something. Are they on? Oh, I hear. Are you hearing through your earbuds? Earbud I hear music. Oh my god! Is that your music? This is that right there. Yes, I'm gonna do. Hmm. I don't know. I thought it was. There's a lot of love coming up in the chat. We appreciate it. <laughs> it's not mine. I don't know where I'm getting this from. Hmm. So. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so I'm sweating. I know, you guys. This is stressful. <laughs> this, like, I'm not sure who is this. Where I'm hearing this music from. I don't know either. Okay. Um. So is it not coming up on your Bluetooth on your phone to to, to connect? No. Okay. So whose phone is it connected I to? I don't know. Okay. I think we maybe lost the echo. Lost uh, the echo? Maybe not. Bluetooth not connected. So maybe we just stand, sit here and don't talk. Look at each other. <laughs> um, Thank you for being patient. <laughs> This yeah, changing. thanks everybody. <laughs> Everything you use, every time you use technology, there's always a experiencing technical difficulties moment, right? Um, it's funny because as soon as we picked up these headphones of Tracy's, these Bluetooth ones, we're hearing music, but none of our three devices are connected. <laughs> Somebody else's music. Funny? But if you horrifying if you, uh, right now, if the people watching can hear I would like me, you to I can talk. tell a little bit more about the Let's story. Do that. Yeah. I won't talk. Yeah. Will I keep keep on? Um, so, so we made our baby to big size range back when we when we wrote our second book, Pacific Knits, and then we we made the strange brew yolk recipe pattern. And all of this adding in more, um, more benefit and more value for knitters that we'd love to do up against our desire to keep things super simple because, um, you know, knitting is just all about the joy of stitch after stitch and the yarn running through your fingers. Um, and when you struggle with the knitting pattern, 
in my opinion, it's just like the knitting pattern shouldn't even be there. The knitting pattern should never, like you're questioning the knitting pattern shouldn't even come into the equation. You should just be able to know what is the next step um, so that I can continue to enjoy my knitting. It's not about the pattern, it's about the knitting. And so as we added more and more value to our patterns with options and yarn weights, um, we, we found more and more we were struggling to make the patterns as crystal clear as we wanted to. And so that's really when I thought we need an app for this. We, we can't keep on patterns, more sizes, more yarn weights, more options, and still make them as clear as we want them to be and as much fun to knit from. Because that's one about from knitters is that they they love our patterns because they're approachable they know they'll be able to knit it if if we publish it um so kind of what brought us to the app and so um i started working with my husband john who's a developer um about five years ago and so i started to learn to code um and we built our website together so that was how to do and that launched us on the path of building an app um and we've been working on it for you now um and launched it in uh july no june of this year publicly um and it's still really just in a starting in in the starting phases but we really think this is a better way to view knitting patterns because you can see just your size your young weight options that you want and then only that option will print onto the page um, and you can tap through finish an instruction tap 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 and then the next time you open up the project it takes you right back to that position in the pattern um, so even now it's still quite basic um, but stages um but we're really excited because on top of the ability to make it simpler um the app can also make knitting patterns more accessible so one of the things that is um is really important within publishing is that you make your work accessible to people using screen readers different ability levels so um within when you tear the knitting pattern apart and put it back together again in the app um we can create toggles where you see things differently like if you parts well, you can see all text only instructions if you're brand new and you don't understand knitting abbreviations yet you can put it and remove the, all the abbreviations and we see potential in future to to change even the way um, knitting patterns with repeats are included to make things accessible for people with different um, cognitive needs. So as we came up with into problems with publishing our knitting patterns in PDF, there's a lot of opportunity to make things better on those fronts. So do you have what what questions do you have about the app or where we see it going or, or what you think you'd like to see? I Ooh, just knit this lovely little flag. This past week using your app, I wanted to get familiar with it and actually put it to the test. 10 out of 10, I didn't know I needed it until I got it. It's so true. <laughs> well, we're all really good at reading knitting patterns, right? If you're a knitter, you've been around the block, you know how to get your way through a knitting pattern. But I love um, how you incorporate tutorials and videos and a whole bunch of, I mean, I just, every time I swipe through and look at what you guys have to offer, I think, well, that's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's so much value. 
And then now I'm connected to Ravelry as well. So I've got all of these patterns that I have on Ravelry. They're all in, in the app. <laughs> it's so good. So, so just so you guys can see, um, I was going to knit the baby flax sweater. I did leave a little bit of the garter bump detail off the arm. But you curate the pattern, you toggle through what you want. Do you want to pick a shorter, longer sleeve? And then you get a pattern that's completely your own. It's kind of like a choose your own adventure a little bit of sometimes there is, do you want a longer sleeve or do you want to skip short row shaping? It tailors your pattern so you're only seeing what is absolutely necessary for you to be successful knitting your pattern. It's, ge it's genius. And yet you can do the same pattern in a different weight of yarn for a different size person, like over and over and over again. It's, it's so much more than just the one pattern. I can't even with this. I, I'm shocked and thankful <laughs> that you guys have done this. Truly. You're an innovator. And the accessibility is a big deal. It's a big deal. Well we do have um, we do have a screen reader tester who's a blind knitter, and just speaking with her on the regular about how to make our website more accessible, how to make our PDFs more accessible. Um, I know that she's really excited because um, even if a PDF is accessible and you can read through and read out loud everything in the pattern, it is really hard to find your size number. In an array see that. of um, of twenty five different size yes. numbers, like it makes it really hard. Um, and so I know that the app format where it, it minimizes how much you have to read is really helpful for a, a screen reader tester, Megan. I can see how that would be a huge bonus, and in in including even more so people than you would think are knitting your patterns. Yeah, I mean, the truth is, I mean, my aunt has eye problems and she's going to go blind and I may have the same problems as I age. Sometimes we see disability as outside of ourselves because currently we're well, right. currently we're young, but um, so, uh, systems that are more accessible for more people are really about you and your family and your future. things um but just the the, the p potentials for how you could like take a picture of your yarn and use it to color your chart and is that what you've got coming down the road like what are the, the next things sweater. you guys are working on because you are doing um crowdfunding a thing where we can all support this app we can make a donation you know, and I see every level you receive something for your donation, which is so wonderful. But where are you heading? Like, where are we going with this? Well, our biggest possible vision is that you just grab your PDF pattern and you drag and drop it up and it um, tears it apart, puts it back together again, and you view your pattern in this cat through one. Okay. That's so we hope we might we we we're planning to aim there. Um and whether um that's like two out or one year old, it depends on us being able to raise yeah. funds and um how the technology really comes together. Um but we also um, see extra features like the ability to see your see your charts differently um, and swipe between chart, text instruction chart, but still be tapping through and keeping track of where you're at. Because I know charts can be when you have to move your little highlight to the next row to the next row. So features like that um, and just improved to oh well, the you mentioned and i didn't realize this yeah. so that yeah. every single sorry day. um just to stay on just the yarn and the charts and the colors funny story really quick 
when I was knitting my uh, Strange Brew sweater out of your Strange Brew book, I messaged Alexa <laughs> and asked her to color a chart in my yarn colors. It's a thing for me. Like it's hard, not hard, but my brain would have to work a yeah. time to see your colors and then translate it to my colors. So for you to say, absolutely, it's so easy to make a mistake. Yeah, you know, right. I, I yeah, mean, I have made plenty of mistakes swapping out like dark and light mm -hmm. when I'm reading a pattern. Aiming at that, you don't even notice the pattern. You really just focus on your enjoyment of your knitting. Exactly. Um, and all of those little niggling hassles that you've experienced over your knitting life just kind of don't apply anymore because we've got a better tool yeah. for you. Um, so yeah, I'll just say, um, if you'd like to get involved and support the project, first of all, download yeah. the free app. Try it out. Just just tap Tin Can Knits into your app store. It's on Google Play or on the app store. Um, and then hop over to our website because for a couple more weeks, we're doing a fundraiser. There's just ways to support us. Um, and each of the levels, um, as you were saying, great. has some really great rewards. Um, the first level is just in in app pattern credits. So there's there's definitely a really good value there. Um, and then we have on Facebook community for supporters and we're doing knit and chats where Alexa and I are talking about color work about our knitting memories and we did a chat um what did we talk about last time <laughs> last Saturday um as well so it's been really fun there's both about the app but also just about the knitting that we love um and we also have a couple more strange brew classes available on fr this Friday if you're available. That is a huge bonus. Um, and I feel like I'm that person that prints my patterns, but this is game changer. This is something that I would love and will continue to love and use. So this is exciting to see already what you've done, but also where you guys are going. That this could be well, a format for every pattern if we, you know, kind of get behind it. Well, there's also the possibility, which we're looking into building pretty soon, that you just hit print my size and you print out your pattern in your size. So we're not trying to think of everything. Kind of prevent people from using prints, but this is like we can make it better in that way. As well. I well, now it's just perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I do feel like, you know, life is people want digital. It's easy. It's portable. You know, it's, a lot it's always good. there, right? Yeah. In your pocket. I'm the or one behind. Don't worry about the printing. <laughs> but you know, you're right. Some people still really like that. So now you're just saying, okay, well, we'll just incorporate that too. We'll keep all our knitters happy. I love it. We think your app is genius. We 1 million percent support it and appreciate innovators like you and Alexa doing that for us. I mean, you you were size inclusive, and and the amount of value you got in your patterns before, before not before anybody, but like you were like a trailblazer, trailblazers of that. Yeah, it's a big deal. Oh, is she gone? No, I'm here. Okay, good. And I can't see you. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, I cannot good. apologize enough. I know. I feel hot and sweaty and embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, We're going to be I, in touch. We want to do an Instagram live with you later that we save to our you, feed. We would love to do the, have a little do-over if you have 20 minutes or something like that and put it on Instagram. Totally. Okay. Can okay. you hear That's me? So terrible. I feel terrible no, don't be. people trying to get the information. They're not, maybe not going to get it. So well, this is how things work. 
You don't okay, know so how they go the first time. Oh my God, the worst. <laughs> Your technology is not my friend it's, sometimes. This is my whole job now with the app development. Everything is the first time. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. We're thinking, oh, this is no problem. I, I, I went through. Okay, first they of all. They make it sound very simple. Click, I, click, done. I assumed, and I shouldn't have, and if I would have thought for a second, I know you guys aren't going to be in the same location so I thought one link you're going to be together Bob's your uncle it's not Bob is not your uncle um oh, anyway well thank you thanks so much for your for time today we're going to put all the links for the fundraiser and the app and all of that in our show notes but um we're gonna text you and I, I would love it if we could have a chance to get this proper but it's time it's a, it's a bit time sensitive isn't it Em? Um, we've got about two weeks longer on our fundraiser. Okay. Um, but we'll share about that as well. Okay. okay. Sounds okay, good. Great. Yeah. Okay. Thank we'll you. be in touch. Have a great day. Thanks so Thanks. much. You too. Bye, bye, bye. Ciao. Bye. Remote guest. I can't. You're she never going to come. Up. They're going to cancel the cruise. Oh my gosh. It was okay. No, okay, people. I'm gonna Hello. Pip, I'm gonna pivot. We're gonna listen, not planned, not intentional. We're gonna make it work. Yeah. Um, thank you to everybody that's here. I'm sorry for any issues. How is how no are issues. we <laughs> how are we sounding now? Should we continue? Should we move on back to our iPad? Should we move on back to our iPad? Let us know, guys, what's going on. You let us know. Daryl says that's the best static he's heard all day. Well, Daryl. We aim to please. Oh Thank God. you so much for that. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Star, thank you sounds. for donating. Okay. Do we go back to the iPad, guys, and we'll just have part one, it's part nice two? It's nice to have it in a total video like all in one thing no I, we're gonna stay here unless we have real issues still but we're just gonna continue on yes please move to the ipad back to the ipad why oi, oi, oi. okay oh there i was gonna say that sounds like mom it was me yeah we are smaller carry on Oh, Adela found. Thank you. She's always. What happened? happened? She probably found information. Like for a way us. better way to do this. <laughs> oh. Bigger screen would be nice. Oh, should we do it? Should we just? Should pitch? we just close it and everybody come back? Should we just have a do-over? Should we just wipe okay. things fresh? Um. Okay. Yes. I say. Let's do it. This will okay. be. This will be one. It'll be on the. I mean, it'll be up. We hope everybody gets a chance to watch both. Give us two minutes because we're going to end this live. We're going to switch devices back to Tracy's iPad and we are going to move forward. Okay. It's a snack break. It's a bathroom break. Please come back. Do it. Mwah. Do See it. See you in a minute. Oh my God. Okay. There we go.